right welcome today i will show you on how to use this form and uh, to save data in the database uh, and display that data on the same page yeah here is my index page the html script here the server css file with uh, all the css written by me now I guess uh, if you need to copy this, you want the CSS, you can pause the video and copy it. Now, let's get into the coding. We, first of all, connect to our database, which I already created a database, I called it reservation, you can call it whatever you like, create a table called users, uh, that was just my idea, and uh, we create some fields, which you will see in the video. Now, I need to collect information, data, from the field input. Here, I do this by, first, once the user clicks the submit button, uh, I will take the, the data from the input fields. I will use a function called mysql underscore with escape uh, string to uh, escape quotations and some other tags save them and then assign this value to uh, variables yeah that's it now i need to write my query to uh, uh, save this data in the database Now just write a query on a single line. Here I will insert. Oh, sorry, it's just making a mistake. Too much awareness. I insert everything in the table on my database called users. Uh, the column names on that table. You have the user email, uh, the party location, and the details. Now, now passed on the values. The values here, uh, the variables, the data I collected from the user, from the input fields. All right. I will need to check whether. The query returned a value. If it did return a value, I would need to set a session. Uh, I haven't yet started my session, but I will start it soon. Uh, here, the session will be a session that holds a message of success. And I also set another session for the ID. Here, I will need to collect the post ID, the ID of the post that has just been inserted, and save it in a session. This ID will be very important, so it will be useful. So we we'll need the ID. After doing this, I need to redirect the user on the same page. Not always to use exit function. That to stop the headers redirection from redirecting over and over. And if the query didn't return a value, I'll set another session for the error message, which says, "Sorry, check your inputs for errors." Now let's get to our index page. First thing we need to do at the top of your file, start your session. I didn't start the session in the server file because I will have to include the server file in the index file. So the server file is just with PHP scripts, which is just the same as writing it in this index for PHP file. Now, refresh your page and let's test. Let's create a post. A reservation here. Yeah. Yeah. Let's use a lorem ipsum. This is your control, uh, uh, your tab to auto complete. Yeah, let's check. Now you can see there's a record on our database, uh, on our database table, uh, which means our code runs just fine. Now we need to get to display that uh, uh, record. 
we need to get the record from the database and display it on the same page as we need. So we do that by, uh, by using a, a, a query. We need to query our database for that record. Now here I will correct I will collect just the details column. No, I will guess I will have to collect all the columns. So I will specify the detail uh, in the upcoming queries. Check if my query returned a value. And if it did return a value, I will check whether the number of columns on the data of rows on the database, excuse me, uh, is greater than zero. If it's greater than zero, that means there exists a, a, a record in the database. There can be more than one, more than two. They can just be greater than zero. So I need to specify. I need to collect all of those records and uh, spec specify the record I need from the database. I will need to use a for each loop. Uh, my for each loop will help me to uh, 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 display each record, uh, each record uh, individually, without uh, getting to refresh the page over and over, refresh my browser over and over, uh, query the database over and over for more for the records if there is this record, just like the while loop. The while loop will keep running. Now I'll need to display uh, records from the database, information from the database in the form of a link. Now I just need one column from the database to display the information in the form, and that is the details. Uh, here I will need to uh, check. I will need to reduce the amount of the uh, information from the database being displayed as a link. We to do that I will need to check the string length. And the string length here will be matched only to the details because I need just that detail and uh, I will check the number of words I will need to display just 50 words so I will check if the string length is greater than or equal to 50 if it's greater than 50 words I will need to cut the string that means I will do a substring that's a structure function to, re to display just 50 words then I will concatenate it with uh, uh, three dots to indicate to show the user that you can uh, click for more. Yeah, to do that, I'll even add, I'll even add uh, a view more button. That will be better. Here, I'm using a paragraph tag because uh, it is already in uh, uh, an anchor link tag. That's the thing. So if you click on the information, you'll be redirected. If you click on the on the uh, paragraph tag, you'll still be redirected. Oh, I guess um, okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. Close my tag. I need to close my tag. Well, yeah. All right. Let's try it. And you see the record is being displayed. The information from the database is being displayed automatically. Let's try and we need to add another post to test whether it did work successfully. But to do that, let me first of all display the user's name. The user who created the post, who uh, submitted the reservation. Yeah. Now you see the user's name appears at the top of the details link. Also, uh, I'll need to give the link the specification. I'll need to direct the user to a particular, to the view uh, uh, page, to the user PHP page where uh, the ID I collected from that post will be displayed at the top of my file as a link. That, that's a get request, so it displays as a link, URL link. So let me create another post and uh, let's see how the post has been automatically uh, displayed on this page. And there it goes. 
yeah now what we'll have to do is to uh, go to the view.php page we need to display the information while the user, the user clicks on the read more view more button uh, we need to display all the information about that particular post that particular that particular information on this page so first we start our session because here we'll be using sessions and uh, yeah let's use an h3 tag header 3 tag here first let me wait i will need to use my for each loop but to do that i need to write my if statement, my query statement here. So, if they get they, uh, uh, if they get if the user clicks on the uh, they get on the link, I will get the request sent by the user in the get uh, 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 super global. And then here I will save the ID of that particular record, that particular information, save it in a variable called detail underscore ID. Here, I will need to query my database to check if that specific post exists with that specific ID. If the post exists with that specific ID, then I will need to collect that particular post and display everything about the post right here. There, to do that, I will use the for each loop. Here I write my page loop script. I will need to collect everything and save in the, everything from the array and save it in another uh, uh, in a detail variable. Here we we'll fetch everything from the database using this function and we we'll fetch that in an associative manner. Associative array format.
displaying the, the date here will be a string a function called date in a string that's a format of which I need my date to appear and due to time constraint I, don't, I will not uh, uh, I will not design this particular page so I will just uh, display the information on the page Alright, now let's check. Refresh your page, you click. You have an error. And it's, uh, yeah, I didn't include uh, my uh, server card. Now you see you have everything, every information about that page. The other one, you can click on others and see. Thank you for watching. And uh, please subscribe. Thank you.